Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And today I want to talk about this new gacha game coming out because this gacha game has caught my attention. The name of this new upcoming gacha game is called Azure Promemilia. This is by the same developers of Azure Lane, AKA Yo Star. If you don't know what Azure Lane is, you're probably missing out, but that game is basically a Coomer boat collecting game. And ironically enough, the CEO of this game is a woman by the name of Lin Xuyin. Azure Lane is one of my top five favorite gacha games of all time. Yo Star does have a pretty good track record, not just with Azure Lane, but with Ether Gazer as well. Ether Gazer is an action RPG game that's been inspired from Honkai Impact and Punishing Grey Raven. And now it seems that Yo Star is actually putting their hat on the table when it comes to open world gacha games, because now they're developing this game called Azure Pamilia. I am 1000% on board with this game. It's got a nice open world aesthetics and it also seems to have this monster or creature collecting aspect of it. I'm a really big fan of Pokemon. Pokemon is one of my favorite franchises and it seems that you're able to collect some creatures. We don't know the name of these creatures, but you, it seems that you're able to collect not just waifus, but creatures as well. You're also able to fight alongside with these creatures as well. Each character in the game is able to switch out a creature that you can fight alongside with. Just like with Pokemon, these creatures also have a type, it seems. You got like water creatures, you got grass creatures, you got fire creatures, you got flying creatures. I don't know if the type system is going to be as complex as Pokemon since Pokemon has 17 types, but you know, we'll see it when we get it. Since Azura Promelia is developed by a guy Gacha game company this game is most likely going to be gacha involved characters that you collect look very good they're most likely going to be in a gacha since this is the developers of azure lane we're most likely not going to get a male playable character i haven't seen any male playable characters yet but i did see a lot of waifus a lot of different waifus that can cater to your tastes there's also some you know jiggle physics every now and then i do know that ether gazer has males in it but they hardly like get any attention Attention, like at all in fact they might as well just not exist at all because they don't really get that good treatment so I kind of hope that Azure Promelia doesn't have any males because if they did they're most likely just gonna get the same treatment anyways and since Yostar does want to cater to the male gaze I think it'd be wise for them just to stick with waifus only so that way they can at least make some revenue because Yostar probably had to pinch some pennies in order to develop this game Azure Lane and Ether Gazer don't really make that much. Anyways, this game is most likely gacha. The female characters are most likely going to be rollable. I'm very curious about how the creatures will play though. I wonder if the creatures will be gacha as well, or maybe the creatures will just be free and you're just able to find them all in the wild. I do know that you can find eggs and those eggs will most likely hatch into these creatures. Maybe they'll just have the characters be rollable and just have the creatures be free. I think that would probably be the best way to go at it. Not only do you have an open world game with waifus and monster collecting, you also have like a building or crafting system. So Yostar is taking some inspiration from not just Genshin, but from Pal World as well. Pal World is basically just Pokemon with like survival mechanics in it and you know, minecrafting stuff. So in Azure Promelia, you're most likely gonna be out collecting wood or rocks and stuff in order to be able to craft these things. I don't think there's any like surviving elements in the game. I don't think there's like a hunger or a thirst system or anything like that. But the building slash crafting mechanics seems pretty interesting. I wonder if you'll be able to craft weapons. I have no freaking idea if there's gonna be like a weapon banner or some type of weapon system. It's most likely just gonna be creatures and waifus. Monetization for Yostar games tend to be pretty good. In Azure Lane, you're most likely just spending money for skins. Ether Gazer, they're it's pretty free to play friendly-ish. They give plenty of freebies. I don't know how that will work with Azure Parmelia though, since it is an open world game. So obviously this is gonna cost them a lot more money to make. And so the monetization might be a little, you know, might be a little steep, but we will not know for sure until later in the future. The creatures in this game can also serve as mounts. You obviously have land mounts, flying mounts. I know I am a waifu enthusiast, but I am more interested in the creatures than the waifus themselves. Don't get me wrong, the waifus in this game look very, very good. They look very fantastic, but I'm very curious about about these creatures. Like, what are they called? How are we able to collect them? Will there be legendary creatures? Will there be roaming legendaries? I swear to God, if they add roaming legendaries to this game, I will, mm, ugh. 
Will there be shiny variations of these creatures to give players an excuse to shiny hunt? Will there be a breeding system? Most likely since there are eggs that you can find in the game. Hopefully it won't be as cancerous as like IVs and EVs and Pokemon. I wouldn't mind a breeding system with the waifus though. That, that'd be actually pretty cool. Will there be trainer battles or something equivalent? I have so many fucking questions about these creatures. Like I just, I'm just very curious. I feel kind of stupid for asking if there are legendary creatures because there are boss battles with these creatures that look pretty epic. There was like this legendary butterfly waifu creature. There was also like this big bad black dragon as a boss as well. The boss fights do look pretty good. I am pretty excited for those boss fights. The gameplay looks pretty simple. You only have four buttons. It seems that you have a skill, a burst. I think one of them is like a sprint. And you also have a button that commands your creature as well. You only have three characters in a team and each character can be accompanied by a creature. So that means there's three creatures in one team. Boss battles also seem to have a break mechanic, a break bar. Once that bar reaches zero, you're able to break the boss. Animations in this gameplay look pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. They look really, really, really fucking good. There also seems to be a base mechanic in the game, kind of similar to Power World's base system. You got your creatures roaming around. I think they're able to help around the base as well. I don't think there'll be like a slave labor system like in Power World. You're able to make your, your pals work harder. You're also able to slaughter them if they don't do a very good job, but I don't think that's going to be in this game. I am really, really, really hyped for this game. I'm more excited for it than Wuthering Waves, Zenless Zone Zero, Do It Night Abyss, Ark Knights Enfield. I love Yostar as a company. I still play Azur Lane even to this day. I don't play Ether Gazer, however, mostly because there's no PC client yet. I do think they're developing it. But I do love Yostar as a company. I am very excited to try out this new open world creature collecting game. Anyways, that's going to be the end of this video. Let me know what you guys think. I will have a link to like some video footage like in the pinned comments. But what do you guys think about this game? Are you hyped for this game? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye now. Come again soon. <laughs>